right, welcome back to the channel. Today is just going to be a quick video. I don't have a whole lot going on. We just finished the harvest out here, and uh, the only two hives I did not go through were Space Force and Coast Guard, so I'm just going to give them a little cursory check today. We're not taking any honey from them. We're just going to have a look at the health of the hive, and then hopefully next week we will get out to the Bee Castle Bee Yard. I've done a lot of work out there. A lot of it... Uh, it has not been shown on camera, but I will give you the update as to what's going on. I want to try to get today's video done before the rain comes because it looks like it's going to rain. So let's uh, let's get in here fairly quickly and see what it is that we can see. It's not going to be a spectacular video, but we may see something I don't know. Hi bees. Let's hope we see something awesome. Awesome would be good. Hi beetle. That's not awesome, but he came out for the sacrifice, which is good. I'll take it. Oh, you're full. Make sure we don't have a queen on there anywhere. I don't see one, but man, that's a lot of bees. Well, how exciting. We're just now building this comb out. Both sides, I don't see any activity on here. No brood, no nectar. Nothing exciting happening. Well, I guess building comb is exciting. And I'll tell you what, it is super hot out. I'm out here early in the morning. I'm trying to get this. Oh, there we go. Queen's been on there. A lot of brood on both sides. Really trying to get this inspection done before the day heats up too much. It's uh, It's been like heat index of 105 here lately. That's way too, too hot. Way too hot to be getting into the bees. They don't like me in here. I don't like to be in here. But I've got to see what's going on. I haven't been in these two particular hives in, uh, oh gosh, a month. It's been a while. I'd like to see a queen, but larva would be acceptable. Okay, they're storing honey in there. They have a couple of uh, pieces of capped brood in there. Okay, not a lot happening there. Empty frame. I remember last time I was in here I checkerboarded. So that explains why we're seeing the frames one drawn out, one not drawn out, one drawn out, one not drawn out. But they're drawing the ones out that I checkerboarded in, and that was the goal. Oh, that is a full frame of brood. The queen, she must have gone down. The teacup. And now they're empty. Yeah, I hope I can make this uh, inspection of both of these hives before the rain. Another frame of brood. Both sides. If you see the queen, there she is right there. There's our queen. She's right there in the corner. She's not marked. There she is doing her queen thing. Excellent. We'll just put her right back down in here. I guess for this hive I've seen what I need to see. I guess I don't need to get down in the bottom. Got a healthy queen doing what she needs to do. They've got food. Excellent. Boy, I tell you what. Easy peasy. Let's get into uh, let's get into Space Force now. I don't think Space Force, I don't think they're in as good a shape as the Coasties here. Space Force has always been a little bit weaker. And you notice there, there were not a lot of hive beetles. We saw the one. Well, I saw one when I opened the, the hive up. But I didn't see a lot of hive beetles in there, and I think that's because of that freeze earlier in the year. My hive beetle situation has been fantastic this year. Fantastic. Watch out, bees. All right. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that the top box on this one is just coming off. I, I think I just put that box on there a couple of weeks ago, and I don't think they really needed it. I just think I needed some place to put the box. This hive was uh, 
it was kind of weak. Let's have a look. Oh, there's a hive beetle. It's a dead hive beetle. Hello. Surprise me, girls. Surprise me. Oh, there's another hive beetle. It's dead. Oh, there's a couple more. So I just got done telling you how wonderful everything was with the hive beetle situation this year, and all of a sudden, blambo, I find four of them in one hive. But if you remember, last year I would have found 40 of them in one hive, so I'll still take it. And they had them up here on the roof, so that's, that's a good thing. Okay. And I'll tell you what, it is hot out here. I do not want to have a heat stroke. And again, I'm kind of racing a heat stroke or rain. What will happen first? Will I get soaked in my camera's short circuit, or will I pass out right on face first into a beehive? Not a whole lot of anything going on here. Let me uh, put this frame in. We're going to go down a level. Let's get down into the meat, into the meat of the hive here. <laughs> Hello, ladies. What do you have going on in here? Well, the guards don't like me here. I tell you what, they're they're getting a little angry. Slowly, slowly. Okay, that is a that is a full frame of honey. We're even capping it on on this side. Oh, there's our queen! Look at that! Nice and pink. I love your, love your racing stripe there, lady. It's a nice pink dress you're wearing. Look at all that brood. Love it. Okay, well, we're going to put her down in, but I'm going to go through a few more frames in this box. I just want to make sure they have food, because if not, I can, I can feed them. They have that one frame of honey. I can, I can give them more. I've got a couple of buckets of sugar syrup sitting up in the fridge right now. Oh, that's all brewed on both sides. Solid frame of brood. Okay, more brood, but they do have resources around the outside. They've got the rainbow going on right here. We do have resources. Not a lot. To be honest, I don't, I don't know how it can sustain a colony this size. I, I hope they have more somewhere. Because all I've seen thus far is one full frame of honey. These girls may need fed. Will that be today? Probably not. But soon. These frames are very light. They do have a lot of eggs on there. I'll tell you something else I'm not seeing is I'm not seeing a lot of bee bread. That's something that the queen needs, so they may actually need pollen as well. Which is usually something I don't have to feed in the summer. Maybe, maybe they've got that stored below. I may have to go down another box here. That's solid brood. More brood and resources. Okay, so they've got a little bit of resources here. They're not they're not bone dry. They have something to eat. They're not starving. It's not old Mother Hubbard's hive here, but oh okay, there you go. There's a full frame of honey. Okay, so they have resources. And you know what? There's another full frame of honey right there. We don't have to go down again. That's all we need to do today. That is good. Okay. Um that queen was all the way back here. I'm going to leave her there, and I'm going to put this first frame of honey right down here with these other frames of honey. There we go. All right. We're going to call it a day, fellas. Most exciting bee video ever released on YouTube right here today. That's sarcasm in its finest. Is there anything else I can share with you?
You know there is something. As long as it doesn't rain, I've got one more thing I want to share with you. Let's put this together. Oh, you know what? Ah, don't put the inner cover on before you put the deep on. There, bug farmer. There we go. There's one more thing I can share with you. To take you up to the back porch for it, though. Let's uh, let's go to the back porch. All right. So this is what I wanted to show you. Um, a company called Lafree. They provided me with a 100-foot expandable garden hose. Now, the reason I wanted to show you this is because I actually need this, and they provided it to me for free. Um, so that I would show it to you and I'm going to show it to you now. I'm not going to review it I don't know whether it's going to be good bad or whatever. I suspect it's going to be good um, But I think in order to test the hose you have to have it going for a long time and I'm not gonna come back Well, I might come back six months from now and say yeah, the hose is still working um, But I'll show you everything that it does I'll show you the features that it's got and we'll try to use it to water my gutter garden see I've got a watering can that I have to fill to water my gutter garden here. I've got another 100 foot hose, but it runs down the side of the house, down the path, halfway to the to the bee bath, and I've got to fill it with the hose, fill my watering can down there with that hose, and then fill the bee bath. So, so a 100 foot hose in this box is, it's gonna be kind of amazing if it's a, if it's a real thing. Let's have a look. Well, if I can even get in here. Goodness. Okay, I didn't know I'd need a knife to get into a hose. All right, so if their hose is as good as their plastic, it's going to be a good hose. I couldn't get in this thing. That's some thick plastic. All right, here we go. You ready? You ready for this? You're going to see it before I do. What's it look like? Well, I don't know. Let's have a look. Oh. Okay, this is weird. This is not what I was expecting. This... Smells funny too. This, this is new. Now I've seen those expandable hoses before and this is not that. Okay, so it comes with a, uh, we'll, we'll look at this a little bit later. This is not, this is not that. This, throw that on the floor. This is like, like licorice. I mean, it's literally like a piece of licorice. Very light. Let me uh, let me plug this into my spigot. Let's see what this thing does. Throw, throw that down there. Okay, so it comes with washers. It's already got one in there, so I don't think it needs another. It also comes with some Teflon tape. I expect they want me to wrap this, so I will. Give it its full treatment. I mean, if they provide it, they want you to use it. All right. Some Teflon tape. Now let's uh, plug that in there. Okay, that's on. I don't know what is on and what is off here, but okay, let's uh, let's turn on the water. See what happens. Okay, the hose is expanding. It is. You can see it down there. This is weird. Usually they're cloth. This is very, very, very weird. It's like licorice. It's very strange. It has the feeling of a real hose, not one of those those collapsible hoses, you know, the fabric ones. It feels like a regular, normal garden hose, but it's uh, stretchy, bendy. All right, let's give this a shot. Let's go to Jet. Holy moly. Okay, the jet works. Let's try a soaker. A 
guess that's what a soaker is. I don't know. That, that does soak. Cone. Flat. For rinsing the soap off your car. Full. A lot like jet. Center. Also a lot like jet. This is the one half vert. One half vertical, I guess. The mist. Very pleasing. Angle. I don't know why someone would need that, but there's an angle. And now what I need, the shower. Let's, uh, let's give this a shot and see if I can actually water my strawberries. Oh yes. Oh yes. Very, very nice. Wonderful! So we have a 100 foot long hose from LaFree. Now I'll put the product link down in the description. You've seen everything that I've seen. Um, my first impression is, is it works. It's a, it's a hose. It's unlike any hose that I've ever seen before. So it's going to be interesting to see what the longevity of this hose is. Um, to be honest, I will come back to you by the end of the summer and I'll let you know if this thing survived. This is a uh, this is unique. I've not seen a product like this. I thought this was going to be one of those cloth ones, you know, that you see on TV. Um, it's not that. It's something totally, totally new. So there you go. It's the third generation LaFree expandable garden hose, 100 foot long. Again, the link will be in the description. Anyways, I want to thank you for coming along on this, this journey today. This video was rather short. We didn't really do a lot. We did find both of the Queens in both Space Force and the, the Coast Guard hive. Um, those hives are in good shape. I'm not going to be pulling any honey from them this year. Um, I think next week we're going to do one of two things. We're either going to start doing deep inspections in the bee barns because that needs to be done. Um, or we're going to get out to the Bee Castle Bee Yard because I've done a lot of work there and I haven't filmed it. I've just been out there getting some stuff done. And a lot of those hives have full supers of honey on them. And I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to pull that honey yet because the flow is still on over at the farm. And that is because the farmer plants clover in between all of the rows of his peach trees and his berry bushes and all of that fun stuff. And when they mow and they water, the clover comes back up and it blooms again. So those girls are still bringing clover in. I've got a couple of those hives with two supers on them. So that's very, very nice. We also have, now if you remember, number five was alive and it lit me up. Well, number five made a whole bunch of queen cells and I had those hives that didn't have queens. So, so I took the queen cells from number five and I put them in those other hives. So I might have like five hot hives now. I don't know. I've not gotten into them to check. But we'll do that too. But, but I'm going to have to get to either the Bee Castle Bee Yard next week or down there to the, the Bee Barns and go through those. And I hope you will come along for the ride with me. So with all that said, I want to thank you again for watching this video. If you uh, liked it, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. Try to drop a video every Friday. Try to keep it light and have fun. With all that said, be happy. And I will see you next week. Take care.